Okay, so we want to do number 27, which is horrible. Cool. Right. All right, so what do I do? Yeah, I want to stick the logs together because they both got W's in them, right? Okay, so how do I stick the logs together? What log rule am I using? Yeah, I'm using the difference of some logs is the log of the fraction. Okay, so there's a log rule, right? And I'm getting log of what? W minus 3 over the W squared plus 9W minus 32. Okay, so I'm getting log of W minus 3 over W squared plus 9W minus 32 equals? Negative 1. Negative 1. Okay, now what? <clears throat> okay, I could try to do that. I'm not going to right now. No. Do you want to get rid of the log? I personally would write, like to get rid of the log. Okay. So I could rewrite the log equation as an exponential equation, right? So I could think to myself, okay, this is a log base 10. So 10 to the answer is this stuff. Or I could apply the 10 to the stuff to both sides, right? Either way, you'll get the same thing. So we'll get 10 to the minus 1 is w minus 3 over w squared plus 9w minus 32. OK, now what? <laughs> We could try that. We could factor. Let's see, uh, 32 is 4 times 8, or I mean, either way, it's something even times something even, right? This probably makes me sad. Probably. It's not going to add to 9. Crap. So I probably can't factor the bottom. What could I do instead? Use the quadratic formula. How am I going to use the quadratic formula? Never mind. I, I was just. It's not a horrible idea, actually. Quadratic formula and factoring should be kind of close together in your head, right? Yeah, but it doesn't equal but zero. But yeah, here I want. I need this kind of stuff equals zero, right? Multiply both sides by zero. Okay. <laughs> that is a really great idea. Okay, I would advise advise against multiply both sides by zero, uh, basically because you're not going to get much out of it. Multiply both sides by w squared plus nine w minus thirty two. But we might remember, right, that this is some kind of a fraction gadget, right? So I might remember back to chapter nine where I would say multiply by the bottom. So. I might multiply by w squared plus 9w minus 32. And I'll get w squared plus 9w minus 32 times 10 to the negative 1. Which is a tenth, right? Yeah. And that's w minus 3 on the other side? Mm -hmm. OK, now what might I do to make my life even easier? Multiply both sides by 10. I might multiply both sides by 10. If I multiply both sides by 10, I'll get w squared plus 9w minus 32 is? 10w minus 30. 10w minus 30. Then put 10w minus 30 on the other side by subtracting 10w and then adding 30. OK, so we get rid of that stuff on the right-hand side. So it's w squared. So we'll get oh, minus one plus w two. squared minus w plus oh, minus, two. minus two, which is zero. And this can I factor? Yep. yep. Thankfully, <laughs> yes. <laughs> and this gives me w minus two and w minus one, uh, plus one. Plus one times w minus two is zero. So that's a factor. That will not so your product rule W equals 1 or, or negative 1 to positive 2. Okay, so we're going to ZPR this thing. So we're going to get W is minus 1 or W is 2. And then we should check do those work, right? 
Woof that. Right? One of these is going to be nasty to check. Let's check this one first. They don't. Uh, so let's see, minus one, minus three. No. Nope. Nope. And two minus three doesn't work. Either. That one doesn't work. And this one, thankfully, doesn't work. Yay. Because now I don't have All to plug it in that thing. <laughs> you guys see that? If one of them had worked in this guy, right, then I would have to plug it in here to see if to see if it was positive, right? See if the argument was positive. Thankfully, none of them worked, so what do I write? Undefined. Okay. <laughs> there is no answer. <laughs> Good, there is no spoon. Or in this case, W, which is the thing we were looking for. Right? You realize that there is no spoon in convinced. So. There is no W that satisfies this thing. So we could write, there is no W with this, or we could write, there is no W solving this, or there aren't any W's like that, dude, or some similar thing. Cool? Yeah. There's no upside down McDonald's sign. Okay, cool. Other questions on this? That one was kind of weird because we came up with no answers, right? It's Another way to phrase this, and maybe the more appropriate mathematical way to phrase it, to say no solution. You get that. Solutions. Solutions. Oh. That's that's how chemists spell solutions. I think. Pretty sure. 